now again uh, so now my pointer will move to the next element that is c because b is filled up understood so for c uh, what will happen just a second c c comma 1 will be delta of q comma 1 what it will be it will be q comma 1 is or oh, it is c comma c comma 0 yeah, yeah sorry sorry it will be r okay r is again a unique yeah r is again a unique so you put it as f okay now what will be delta of c comma 1 c comma 1 will be q comma 1 that is qr qr but qr is already created so so we don't have to create another state so c comma 0 will be f and c comma 1 will be okay so in this way you have to fill up so suppose d let let it be top d comma 0 so delta of d comma 0 what will happen d will be uh, r s so r comma 0 is s q r is what uh, okay d is what s s comma 0 is q correct s q is unique or not so you have to create it okay s q is not there no so you have to create it so it will be g and uh, what is uh, oh sorry this will be g and what uh, what will be d comma 1 tell me s and p d comma 1 will be uh, s and p. p and it is again a new set of states okay so g h you put it as g h okay for e what will happen tell me e is what e is q r and s so with q comma 0 it is r with r comma 0 it is s and with s comma 0 it is q okay so okay have i missed something so mm, just a minute okay and my e is q or s no? q can you tell me again delta b comma 1 b is what q and r q with 1 is q with 1 is q r and uh, R with one is as okay. So it is uh, QRS, no? It is correct, okay. So it is E and E, okay. I think uh, one is will also be E because uh, Q with one is Q R, okay. R with one is S. No, 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 no. And S with one is P. Yeah. So delta of E comma one will be P Q R S. I guess. Correct. So it will be again a new set of states. Okay. I. You can put I. So so we are creating states whenever needed okay if we are for we are finding that okay this set of state is already there in our list of sets so this is our list of sets okay we are first checking that uh, the transition function which is giving the set of state is already there or not that set of states is already there in our table or not if it is not there then we are creating one and we are adding one more row to the transition table okay <clears throat> so this is the way to solve this problem so you can do it yourself or uh, shall i complete the whole thing okay okay so this is uh, uh, so this completes the uh, class of uh, 
non deterministic finite automata we'll now start with a new uh, class of automata that is called non deterministic automata with empty transitions okay <coughs> so what does this empty transition means okay so so diagrammatically let me draw a uh, one finite automata suppose this is a state 1 this is state 2 this is state 4 okay i can have a state 3 sorry this is this arrow is like this way and this is this way okay and so suppose my alphabet set is a and b so with a i remain there with so so a ndfa with empty transitions has one additional feature that is represented by epsilon so so without consuming any input symbol the automata can switch from one state to other understood so this this is the main feature of a ndfa with empty transition so for here so i let me uh, let me write it down unlike a nfa nfa with empty transitions can switch from one state to other without consuming any input symbol so this is the main difference of a nfa and a nfa with empty transition so so can you tell me the mathematical definition how the mathematical definition will look like Okay. So, so it correct five tuple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that will vary is the mapping function. Uh, that is uh, delta. Okay. Uh, and, de and delta will be from uh, uh, Q cross uh, input alphabet union the epsilon. Correct. Okay, so to the person. Correct. Absolutely correct. So how the uh, so the mathematical uh, definition is different from that of a NFA only with respect to the transition function. So in the transition function, we are considering the input alphabet as well as the empty transition that is represented through epsilon. Okay, and that when taken care, uh, so mapping of a set of inputs, mapping of a set of states to this new set that is input alphabet union empty transition to the power set is the transition function okay so you are correct so <coughs> so one of the uh, important thing that we will discuss here is extended transition function but before that uh, let me tell you one more thing that is called as epsilon closure do you people know what epsilon closure for a NFA is? Has it been taught? Okay, what does that mean? So, so, so with epsilon transition, uh, what are the possible set of states I can uh, 